Brexit has finally begun. At 12.20pm on Wednesday, the United Kingdom triggered Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty. So come hell or high water, on the 29th of March 2019, the UK will leave the EU. The six-page Article 50 letter was delivered by hand to Donald Tusk, President of the EU Council by Sir Tim Barrow, the UK's bearded ambassador in Brussels. Mr Tusk said he was disappointed, stating that the EU already misses the UK and the next few years are purely about damage control. Theresa May, on the other hand, was more optimistic. The Prime Minister said that triggering Article 50 was a historic moment for the nation and there was no turning back from it. She said it was a unique opportunity to shave Britain and ask some tough questions about what kind of country it wants to be. The only really newsworthy item was the suggestion of more devolution to Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland after Brexit. But what was notable was the Prime Minister's tone. Mrs May's brisk and bolshy approach towards Brexit in her Conservative conference speech last year was applauded by party activists but received with horror in Europe. The government seems to have learned a lesson from that and is taking a much softer approach now. Instead of saying the UK will be having its cake and eating it, the Prime Minister talked of close partnerships, careful negotiations and the need for a strong EU besides a strong UK. There was only one threat, a reference to weaker security cooperation across the channel if there was no deal in two years' time. The EU will respond to the letter later this week and negotiations will begin in earnest this summer. It's important to remember what a historic moment this is in British politics. It's a turning point for the UK's relations with both Europe and the rest of the world. The next few years are going to be difficult. There are many pitfalls ahead, but based on what we've seen so far, both sides appear to be keen to make the best of Brexit.